Pokemon Horizons episode 23 just aired, and dude, for the first time in forever, I'm not feeling 100% awesome about it, you know? Don't get me wrong, the events of the episode were great, it had some awesome reveals and some cool moments, but the episode was also plagued by quite a few major issues that really undermined the good parts. Right off the bat, it feels like we accidentally missed an episode between the last episode and this episode. The previous episode ended with Captain Pikachu being gravely injured, Liko and Roy on the run, and then with Freed and Amethio being trapped in the mines by a cave-in, with them likely having to work together to battle for their lives against Galarian Moltres. There was no escape for them, the stakes were really, really, really high, dude. But now, today's episode began with Captain Pikachu being 100% healthy at a Pokemon Center, and with Freed suddenly being there too? The episode didn't show Liko and Roy taking Captain Pikachu to the Pokemon Center, it didn't show what it set up in the previous episode with Amethio and Freed stuck in the mines, fighting Moltres. It didn't even show how they escaped, you know? It really just skipped over all of it completely. And now Amethio is randomly gone too? He's not even part of it anymore? So what was even the point of the Freed and Amethio stuff last episode, if they somehow conveniently escaped off screen, and if Amethio somehow conveniently vanished? It's really strange, dude, and really jarring, you know? It really does feel like they accidentally skipped another episode before this one. But anyway, in today's episode, based Basically, Liko, Roy, and Freed go back to the Galar Mines with a plan to tame Moltres, and the plan is they work together in an attempt to use Sprigatito's leaves and its aroma to help calm Moltres down. Since, you know, Sprigatito's leaves and aroma have that effect on people in Pokemon. And then, mid-attempt, the ancient adventurer Zarbolivar appears from the ancient Pokeball, and it powers up Sprigatito, with Sprigatito's leaves overcoming Moltres and calming it down. Now Moltres is calm, and the baby Terrapa Goss exits Liko's pendant permanently, reuniting with Moltres. We see a flashback of the ancient adventurer Lucius, showing his actual face for the first ever time, and then Liko returns Moltres to the ancient Pokeball, with Liko and Roy from now on looking after it like they are with our Bolivar. And that's where the episode ended. So yeah, this episode brought together Liko and Roy's storylines even more, by showing Terrapagos, our Bolivar, and Moltres all together, and showing off the ancient adventurer Lucius too. One thing that was a little bit weird is that our Bolivar kept changing sizes drastically in this episode. In one scene it was tiny, in another scene it was the size of a skyscraper. Super weird, dude. But anyway, I really loved how Liko and Hatena realized that Moltres was upset. It fits their dream of understanding Pokemon's feelings and emotions. But I do kind of feel like Moltres conveniently felt much weaker in this episode than it was in the previous one. But on a brighter note, seeing Terrapagos finally permanently out of its pendant and meeting Liko properly? That was really awesome, dude, and really long overdue. I really can't wait for Terrapagos to become a bigger part of the crew from now on. But man, I just really can't get over the whole Freed and Methio thing, you know? We were all so hyped for the idea of Freed and Methio battling Moltres and desperately having to team up together to battle for their lives. They'd have no escape from the caved in mines, so all they could do was work together, you know? It could have been such a great and special way to evolve, Freed and Demetheo's rivalry, their bond, it could have really changed their dynamic together in such an interesting way. And Lord knows they need it, they've had the same dynamic for like 25 episodes. But I guess that just didn't matter to the writers, because instead it was entirely put off screen. Freed and Demetheo somehow magically escaped, and then Demetheo vanished completely from the storyline. I don't know man, I'm just disappointed. It could have been amazing, but instead it was just like, why? It felt so jarring and so weird. Massive missed opportunity, dude. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed the episode. I thought the good parts of the episode were really, really, really good, but the bad parts were really, really, really bad, you know? It was a really mixed one for me personally. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and of course, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. It'd really help me out, dude. Join our Discord server and follow me on Twitch using the links in the description. And on that note, thank you all so much for watching, and and best wishes until we meet again.